I've got a few of the things for the railgun making now. We seem to be... Right. Like, everything seems low on uranium, though. It's weird. Ah, that's why, because there's 35 over here. Oh? Over where? In the container. Oh. The floating container. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. The uh, the azimuth one. There, I put 20 in the main part and then 10 in the assembler. So there's 20 dividing right. out throughout the reactors of everything connected. Oh, we need to queue up some more computers. Again? Yeah. We should burn through components quick. We just built a large ship. That's true, but and, I mean, like, even, and a even base. without that, we still burn through components really quick. Yeah. It's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just kind of interesting. Wow, it has a lot of gyro power. How many gyros does it have? Just one? Two. Oh, you don't need two gyros on a ship that big. It's I mean, Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. I want to get on board. There's no seats yet, so... Probably need to put some seats in. Ah, I couldn't finish it. I put it down. I put a passenger seat behind you. Just don't have enough. Oh, there we go. All right, sweet. All right, let's go for a ride. Oh, it, it, oh, wait, hold on. I'm controlling a Gatling turret. There we go. The battery's charging causes it to go into overload. Ah. It's pretty quick, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, <laughs> that is so cool. Has a decent amount of drift, though. I didn't realize how light this thing was, to be honest. It's, it's really light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's maybe twice the size of uh, a respawn ship. But it also has a large thruster on the back, which is really yeah. what helps. But it doesn't have a large thruster in the... F it, so we should probably not go in at full speed. <laughs> yeah. This ship kind of reminds me of a Hind D. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. What's a Hind D? Hind D, a Russian attack helicopter, oh, the Mi-24. Oh yeah, the, the Hind. I know the I know the one you're talking about now. I just it took me a minute to think about it because I was like Hind D. Well, the, the like D was the like Hindy D or something. <laughs> well, the Hind D was the the D was the main model used during the Cold War era. Yeah, I think that. Uh, this, this ship is, is going to serve us well if we're ever attacked. No. Apart from it has like one structural weak point. Like bar there at the back, you see where it's got that, that bit? It's very, very weak there. If something hit there, it could probably tear the thing in half. Are you talking about where like the doors are? Yeah. So I may have to modify it, but I, I think it's a good little ship otherwise. Yeah. And you know, you know, when I say I have to modify something, it's going to turn out looking completely different. Usually. Don't go too crazy. I, I, I like it the way it is so far. I, I think oh, we could uh, build a second one and then take this one and, and ready it for combat kind of thing and then take the second one for like a, a scout ship type stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, this one, at least it's got, uh, it's got weapons for... Every purpose. It's got a railgun for extremely long range hitting. It's got Missile the rockets for. Closer. Yeah, and then it's got Gatling guns for 
defense and you know fighters and whatnot. Against right. large ships, these Gatlings aren't always the best. No, not really. Although it is made of light armor, so that could be a a drawback a little bit. You may want to uh, tone down the gravity on board because uh, it's in the base right now. And that sucks up a lot of power on yeah. your behalf. Yeah, the, the gravity generator's not been tuned. This is how I, I tune my gravity generator. I take it and put it on the HUD, and then I'll tune it from the cockpit. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. All right, for now, I'm just going to add lights to the base. I'm not going to go Boris crazy. <laughs> Boris does like lights, but he's, he's well, he admitted I, I understand it to me, it. so he, he was like, yes, I like lights. <laughs> I, uh, I actually tend to use uh, the darker skyboxes just so I can put on more lights. Yeah. But at least then it gives them a purpose, you know? Yeah. So you won't be able to walk around on the top of this thing, but you'll be able to walk around inside it, and that's what matters. Yeah. And the gravity reaches everywhere on the inside, so... I'm going to park it just over here, a little ways away from the base. All right. And there we go. I figure for our own personal rooms, you can put whatever lights you want in there. I'm not going to bother. Oh, the, uh, the ship is mostly owned by you because I used Rosie to weld it mostly. Ha <laughs> Well, you can still... Oh. I can't change I, the name of it. All right, give me a second. Like the, the actual, you know, like in the menu thing? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, give me a second, I'll run over there. Yeah, it says platform 3-8 something. <laughs> Well, are you talking about the the black arrow? Yeah. There you go. It's all transferred to you. Okay, I'll set it to share with faction then. All right. That's one thing I don't like is like when you transfer everything to somebody, it automatically goes to no share. Yeah. There we go. That's the other thing I don't like is the fact that, you know, you have to be the, the majority owner of it to change the names and stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get Yeah. Well, that makes sense. People aren't trolling you and crap like that. Right, but there should be like a way to make it so you could change the names of the ship without having to be own every piece of it. Yeah. Because like the the mine ore, uh, me and you both own like equal shares in it. The carrot, huh. I owned all of it, and then like uh, Betsy, I think you own a lot of it too, a lot of Betsy. Oh yeah, because you used the uh, you used Rosie. Yeah. I have to admit, actually, in, in a short period of playtime, we've actually built a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, we have, a, we have a really big mining ship. We've got a little mining ship. We've got a welding ship. We've got a little transport. Uh, I suppose you could call this a bigger, 
you know, frigate, like, ship. And then we have a huge cargo transport. That's what I was supposed to be working on. I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> I will do that next time. I'll do it right now. But yeah, see, I was going to do the... Uh, the big, you know, because we got the azimuth container floating out here, so I was going to do this one up as our transport ship. Yeah. But I don't know if we want to just merge that into, like, a, a nacelle for a bigger ship or something. I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, if you build off of it and use it as just, you know, its own large ship, uh, it doesn't necessarily need to attach to anything. Right, but I was thinking, like, use it for, like, the starting point of, uh of a big ship. Well, yeah. Because we were talking about, like, a, a big, huge transport to escape this horrible place with. Yeah. I was thinking you could make it out of this one, and then, uh, find a way to, well, we'll just merge block the other large ships into it, and then use connectors to pull the little ships behind it. I get what you mean, okay. And then I can pilot the the black arrow to the next area. True. Yeah, I can fly the the transport. Right. Who knows? Maybe he'll come back and he'll take over the base. <laughs> we'll just turn it into a, a ship and and fly it out too. <laughs> <laughs> But I think this would work for, you know, an exploration ship, because it's got the guns to protect itself if we run into trouble. It's got the, you know, it's, it's got decent acceleration. I mean, I, we, yeah. we could replace this engine at the back with a Sage engine or something. Oh, that would be huge. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'd have to take out the large cargo container to do that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, it's got small cargo containers and stuff, so... But what I'd do then is I'd replace some of these connector pipes with uh, cargo containers, and all of these conveyor boxes with cargo containers. I, I hate the connect uh, the conveyor box because it's like the most useless thing to me. I like it actually. I, I use them quite a bit, uh, especially aesthetically speaking. You can use them like when you have a conveyor in the floor on my on my Raven escort carrier i have those in the floor so that it matches the aesthetics of the ship a little bit better the cargo container or a conveyor box like the cube yeah i i don't because well like it, it's in the floor of the ship so instead of being a tube it's the box and that seems to fit a lot better and it colors so the whole ship is all black yeah oh, you're standing right next to me i didn't even know <laughs> I'm a don't mind like the blinking that. lights I'm trying Thank to figure these damn lights out. In the hangar, I'm trying to toy with them. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm trying to land on the landing pad. I'm having technical difficulties. Oh boy. I think it's because of your blinking lights, though. Oh my god, that's bright. <laughs> and the radius up. So is your room the closest to the hangar, or is that my room? 
I uh, that one's yours. I, I colored the doors. I want the uh. I want the one with. Well, they're they're same size rooms. I just want the one with the uh, with the big windows. <laughs> you, you know what? I think I'm gonna knock out this wall at, at the end of the hallway and put in another room because I don't want to be that close to the refinery. It's loud. <laughs> you know, we we space sharks. We need a quiet place to sleep. Well, you do have a place to sleep. It's actually underneath my room. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. But I don't. I think we should turn this like into a, a cafe or a you know cafeteria. Ah, it's not too bad an idea. Yeah, do something like that, and then, like you said, at the end of the hall, just knock out this wall. We can build out here. You like that? Yeah, I do. We just need a button to make it do that now. Uh, there's the, um, there's a cockpit here in the hangar. Right, but, but yeah. I mean a button panel to do it, because button panels are so much cooler than jumping in a cockpit and doing it. Uh, I guess. But see, what I'm thinking is that I can, I can actually cut this wall out here, and then, uh, tunnel into the asteroid a little bit, and then build my room in there. That'll work. There won't even be any walls. It'll just be like a platform into a cave. It'll just be one little platform, <laughs> and then there will be a bed upside down. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that, that'll be my room. The shark cave. The shark cave. And on the door, I will have a password. And it will ask you, what is the color of night? Sanguine, my brother. Yep, yep, yep. I knew you'd get that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not breaking in. I'm just getting rid of a blast window. You can fly through the blast windows when they're ground down. No shit. I didn't know that. Yay! I got the uh, I got the lights in the hangar set up so they they blink in intervals. Sweet. It's the first time I've ever done that. This this is a historic moment. We we need to um we need to build we need to celebrate now. To the party barge. <laughs> We should probably like inform everybody that we've made contact with with home again, and and we're we're tasked with building an outpost out here. Because huh. it's kind of what we've been doing anyway. True. I say fuck it. No, 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 no. We're in business for ourselves. Are you sure? I like that. I I think that that, that the company might take offense to that. No, 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 no. They, they, they screw them! They shouldn't have built a shitty ship that would crash anyway when, you know, whatever happened to Phil. So, it's their fault. We took their shit. This is ours now. And we have a although, black arrow. Let, although, technically, huh? we didn't we didn't take anything from them. I mean, there's no proof that that ship crashed here. That's true. Because, well, I uh, actually, the, that container over there is still part of the ship. No, 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 <laughs> no. That that container is part of a, a drifting cargo ship that we captured. Uh, that's true. Because we we oh. have the uh, the privateer license. We're allowed to do that. Yeah. All right. I think that's what it's called—a privateer license. I don't remember. Well, I mean, considering they haven't issued one since World War II, I wouldn't quite know. Well, there is yeah. <laughs> there, there's a, a Corsair or something like that. Um, Basically, they give you a license to be a pirate. Uh, yeah. Well, the last one that they issued was during World War II, and it was actually for an airship. Huh. Yep. Did not know that it was for an airship. Yep. Of course, I also didn't know they issued them in, in World War II. That, that snoozed me. Yeah, like I said, that was the last one.
You should, uh, I was going to say, you should just dig right into the the rock. Use uh, the interior wall, or not the interior wall, the, uh, you know, the hallway one, the hallway block. And have it just go right into, like, a room into the, uh, into the rock. Yeah, that, that works, <laughs> other than from one slight problem to start with that I've fixed. What? Well, to start with, you need actual walls so that you can, um start the tunnel through there oh yeah like like this these here are gonna be just walls oh okay i gotcha yeah our next i'll probably add a uh oh what the hell you call it uh the one of the decoration mods the next one so we can decorate up our cafeteria room thing yeah make it a coffee bar or something yeah we, we definitely need some some dead space coffee dead <laughs> tech coffee ah uh, you know if they don't have it they need signs that say like uh you know, like for one of the sign mods says, like, engineers at work or something like that, and you could put it up for an area under construction. <laughs> <laughs> so it just uses one construction component. When you place it, you know, it's a full model, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Yeah. You know, and then it's just so people would be, you know, stay away from your shit. Welders, welders at work or something. Yeah, there you go. Oh, um, by the way, uh, you can paint the blocks that are like connected to your tunnel, your your walkway there, but the others I'd rather you left alone. The walkway. Yeah, where the the ones that are in the in the hallway. It's on the on the left side there. Oh, okay. You, you mean like you're like the wall? Or... Yeah. The, uh, the rest okay. of it, I'm thinking about leaving. You know, the same. Leaving it black. Okay. I was just putting up the windows black. I thought that looked nice. And I'm gonna actually here in a second I'll paint the uh the landing pad. 